uh, why don't we just get started with the intro then? Uh, Rita did it last week, I think. So, is everybody ready? I think I did it last week, but yeah. I think. Are you sure? No, I did it because Andre was like, you're giving way too much detail. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think I we had a discussion in oh, character, you, yeah, and I, then they came and you get, yeah, yeah, yeah. I recall. I, it's coming back. It's coming back. Well, Respino, why don't you do it this time? I'll do it. I'll do it. Yeah, so last time we decided to go look at this market-like place, and we found, like, five gold pieces and also these really dusty destroyed stands that we could not find anything else in but we saw some kobolds right that were coming to find some money for their kobold king dude who was gonna have um wings and become a dragon and we decided to go see them because he was working for the god of death and we went to their place, they showed, like, there were a lot of traps, um, they took us there because Marzipan played this beautiful music for them, and they were, like, entrapped by her, um, and the king dude was an asshole, did not respect us, so we started a fight, um, uh, Shiv, like, went in with his, like, blade, popo hook, and, like, killed the dude, King in like one attack and then and then Fritz like was like I'll show you damage and did a fireball and killed all the rest of the kobolds um, and then we got like 25 gold off of that whole interaction because they didn't have a lot of money although on the map it looked like more so we were like well it wasn't, was it worth it committing yeah. genocide for this um, apparently our standards have gone down so yes um and then oh. I think we killed all of them and then went out uh, using Fritz's memory. Um, one thing I, we learned was like there is the temple up north, which led us to this cave like structure with this really, really big obelisk that were bigger than the other ones to showcase that it's like better than the rest. Um, a line. That I think we wrote in like the, in here, like it was like, fear the night, blah, blah, blah. Um, so a riddle, and then we decided that this was, um, this was where we need to go at the very end when we have all the pieces. Uh, and now we turned around and went to the water temple uh, and got really stuck doing the puzzle and they figured it out the end yeah that's so we Beautiful. got another piece of puzzle yeah and puzzle killed piece. some alligators and had gators for food that's pretty much what i remember did we miss any important details What about, like, uh, isn't there something with the mask? I tried to use it. That was an important detail. Yeah, well, there you go, Rita. You're not playing your character if you're not saying how important of a detail that is. That's true. <laughs> um, okay, well, thanks. Thanks for agreeing with me. Um, so, now we are outside the temple. Is that correct? And yes. Everybody's... They're walking out to that. Okay, so you're wading through the water, and uh, Jojo is, is uh, you know, just hanging out. He's splashing his feet in the water by the steps. So when you there guys, go. uh, um, what's his, Orvex was also there. Mm -hmm. And so at this point they talk, they're talking, uh, and when, when, when you guys approach, um, Orvex is 
suddenly quiet. He says, uh, so, let, oh, you have returned, my friends. Yes, yes, we have. Um, you oh, can yeah. talk to Jojo. Is his voice, is this too annoying? That was the Is this one a... Is this a good one? Is that Jojo? Well, yeah. Yeah, I like uh, that one. What are, you say, what are you saying? I don't... I, I don't speak. What? <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. well, we were, we were chatting, yeah, a little bit, but... Um, not... It was very, like, vague things. I was like, you know, how's the weather? You know, it wasn't that big of a deal. Okay. Could you ask him where he's from? Maybe we can return him to his family. Does he have parents and brothers and sisters? Oh, uh, yes, of course. Yes, I can ask him that. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, after a few moments, uh, he'll say, Oh, he... Jojo says, Jojo uh, says it's not far from here at all. It's directly over there, actually. About 500 feet, he said. Right on the other side of those buildings. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, guys, we found Jojo's house. We can take him back to his family. That's awesome. Did he say anything else? Like... How do they? How are the relations with the kobolds and the the Yuanti? He doesn't like them, I uh, believe. I I don't know Grung that well. I mean, oh, asking for directions is one thing. I said how how you get home. That's basically what I said. Oh, he knows how to get home. That's so cute. Okay, okay. Do you guys want to go take take Jojo home? Yes. Yeah, sounds like a good idea. Um, <clears throat> I would like to get the surface level thoughts of this dude. Because <laughs> he's being a little shady. I think it's the voice. Watch it later. But yeah, okay. See, that's good. That's good. I mean, yeah, I don't want to turn it off. <laughs> I um, love the voice for him, though. I'm like, he's a little shady. I trust this guy. My god, send, it to him, send him to us. That's true. But, still, but who knows? Yeah. See, you know. Yeah, Respina, don't... Don't... Don't, uh... You, you can't... You don't know she's reading the thoughts. That's true. I mean, I don't. I, I, I was saying it as, like, laughing. I don't know. So yeah, I won't, uh, he doesn't have to do a roll or anything. I just want surface level. His surface thought is, I, um, this was a terrible item to give away, but it was in the book. <laughs> Uh, his surface level thought. I'll tell you privately. Okay. I won't tell everybody else. Okay. Go into channel two. Hello. His surface thought is that he... I hope they're not watching your stream, but that'll convince them to watch it. <laughs> Sur the surface level thought is that... Um, The at this current moment, because surface level is like in the immediate moment, mm -hmm. he's thinking to himself, I, 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 I hope that's not. I hope. I hope it's not the case. That's what he's thinking. That's all. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay. Um, okay, let me 
see something. <clears throat> oh, I went to the other channel. Oh. Were you talking? Yeah, yeah, but it's okay. I'll go back. There was some noise. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. All right. Um. I should just type it to you next time. That'd be easier. I should go and listen to the stream. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. It's on mute. Um. Uh, I want to try to probe deeper. Jojo is jumping up and down, and he's saying... Grico! Grico! That's so cute. Um, yeah, so I'll look at him and I'll just say, like, alright, uh, you know, lead the way with Jojo. Um, but I wanna, I wanna just, I'm just gonna probe deeper. So, give me a wisdom. Which I'm worried about, because I think he probably has high wisdom, um. But that's okay. Oh. Okay. Let me find his, uh... Can you just do that at will, Rita? Um... Yeah, the spell itself has, like... The Detect Thoughts spell itself has a duration. Yeah. Uh... So if that always has it active, that's pretty crazy. Actually, we should... And only the suggestion um, says once... Oh, that's the one with the cooldown. Yeah, yeah. once use the suggestion property. It can't be used again. But I haven't Damn. done that yet. Uh, I think it, there's just not a lot of things. Oh my god, did you did you win? <gasps> oh, he, he just beat it. He just met it. Uh, mm -hmm. So now he knows I was trying to probe him. Uh, Orvix. Orvix looks at you suspiciously. He, he gets like, you know, when somebody's like lost in thought mm -hmm. and then they get like, uh, Jolted like out. really alert all of a sudden. Yeah. That, that's sort of what happens. And he, he looks directly at you. I'm going to start stroking the mask. I'm going to say, oh, this helm is so beautiful. It is so lovely and... I just love to use it all the time. It's so beautiful. Oh, are you okay? No. You, you've changed since you've worn that mask. You know? Um, you're, you're much different than you were before. Well, you only knew me for like 30 minutes before I found the mask. Well, you used to be a good person, and now look at yourself, invading people's thoughts. Well, you're being very shady, Orvex. What are you talking about? Yeah. I'm just going... We I... came, you're talking, we say, oh, you can talk. You... No, I can't. What are you talking about? Then we say, can you ask him this? And then you're like, of course I can. And then you're just doing a lot of flip-flopping. And then your surface level thought, okay. You said, I hope that's not true. What? You know, what are you hiding from us? Terme, she's... You guys are of the same god, and she came on a mission to save you, and now you're keeping things from her. Are you lying, Orvex? I, mean, I don't think so. Maybe he's just really likes Jojo and wants to spend more time with him. Do you not like Jojo? What do you... I'm sorry. What were you guys talking about? I, I got really... I, I was staring off into space. Oh, well, Wait, is that you? Like... Is that you, Andre, not paying attention? <laughs> or is. Did Orvex <laughs> say that? Because that's weird. Like, yeah. I just yeah. want to know, like, was that you? Yeah. You just got distracted IRL? Or did Orvex really say that? And he's kind of. Because 
if that really happened, I think there's. I'm role playing, playing the character. Okay, perfect. Oh. Um, oh. That's you have weird. ADHD, Orwex. Like, do you, can you not pay attention to one thing at a time? It's okay if you do. I mean, that's no judgment. Or are you but, communicating well, with somebody else? You know, you know what? I think that you guys uh, look. All right, I almost conversationally speak drunk. So what? That's not a big deal. That's not a reason to probe my mind. Okay, you're correct. However. Now that we're talking about it, and then we're in the middle of a conversation, and then you say, oh, what? I wasn't paying attention. Now, what are you doing? Is somebody talking to you telepathically? Are you communicating with somebody else? Are you under a spell? Uh, like, what is happening? Uh, I, if you... Uh, uh, yeah, what's going on, Orvex? Please tell us, because... We're a part of a group now, so... Did you get a mad monkey disease by accident, too? You guys are making a whole lot of something out of nothing here. <laughs> you think I'm under a spell? Uh, you, you think that I'm being mind-controlled? You guys are crazy. We've been friends for so long. Why do you distrust me all of a sudden? <laughs> I mean, we don't we know each other for like 30, maybe, you know, like eight hours? No, more than eight hours? How many, how long? I think, yeah, no, I think it we is need to do eight hours. Like uh, more than eight I'm hours. casting Dispel Magic. Wait, does that work? <laughs> how does Dispel Magic work? Um, I think you need to know. It should work. Yeah, I'm casting it on him or just whatever. However, yeah, one creature uh, within range. So I'm casting Dispel Magic on him. Okay, go ahead. Um, As so you're Tyron. casting a spell, Orvix is like, Whoa, hold on a second, what are you casting spells for? Uh, don't light me on fire, please, I'm sorry, we don't have to fight. I'm not going to fight you. I'm just trying to understand what's going on with you. Just tell me. Okay, wait. Okay, I won't cast the spell, but just tell me, okay? What were you thinking when you were saying, I hope that's not the case? Orvex says something in Grung um, to, well, Jojo. Mm -hmm. He says, King me talk you have this need to do. Um, sorry, well, what were you saying? Go on, I'm sorry. Jo oh, and Jojo, look, I thought you guys cared more. I, I don't know, I... Sorry, that was a weird on word choice. I thought you were gonna intervene or say something. I was waiting for somebody to say something. Um... Jojo, Jojo, uh, looks quite panicked all of a sudden. He already looked nervous because people's voices are getting elevated. But... After Orvex says something tongues. tongues. So okay. I can understand. I'm like, so everybody's going to start nice. casting magic spells in the middle of I an argument. It's, it's uh, only <laughs> virtual. Yeah, I think it's not very. I mean, it's one action, so I hope I can do it like easily without getting. Okay, so while you're. By the way, um, you can roll the dispel magic. Yeah, your spell would have been completed. Okay. I was trying to cast- I don't know if I could cast it for his, like, what he asked, but I wanted to hear what Jojo responded. The spell magic? You roll a dice, don't you, with the spell magic? Ooh. If it's higher than level 3, Four. I do, so... Um, the spell well, save you is... Roll, roll. I you don't did. know what you're talking. Yeah, so. I, I rolled. What 20? You did now. Okay. The DC is well. 10 plus the spell's level. Mm hmm Well. Um. If there's even a spell, maybe. <laughs> right, exactly. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. 
it's very popular. Okay, so you cast spell magic on him, and then um, Terme has started casting tongues. So now, now Terme is saying, you know. Terme is saying, blah, you know, blah 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 blah. blah, blah. Well, I and don't think my things change. I think I can just any creature I speak to understands me. So I'm gonna like tell Jojo, like I'm like Jojo, like. Wait, what has this down. man been telling you? Slow down. He just means the verbal part of your spell. You're you're just casting. Oh, it. oh, okay, mm -hmm. okay, oh, okay, okay. He, um, he's now saying, "Ribu, Ribu," to Jojo, and Jojo. Gets panicked. Wow, that was very appropriate. Snake just ran away <laughs> as I was saying that. <laughs> he got a random zoomies. Uh, Jojo gets the zoomies and he uh, darts off into the water. Okay. He swims away. Wait, before I can cast my spell and talk to him? Um, well, as I said, Jojo was already looking panicked. And then okay. when when Orvex says his magic word, you you hear so your spell goes through, mm -hmm. and Orvex is saying, "Run, run!" Yeah. Okay, and I I'm gonna yell for Jojo. I'm like, Jojo, this man is lying to you. He wants the sharks to eat you. Oh, <laughs> poor Jojo. Yeah, you're. Know, you're I mean, yeah. Yeah. That's. I, I. I'm gonna say that to him. I have more honey and bugs for you. That's what I yell at him as soon as like it happens. Um. He's. He's saying. <laughs> Wait. If I do a high voice, well, I'm already got a high voice on. Is that gonna sound? Evil or deathly? Is it gonna hurt your ears? Oh, oh, <laughs> um, I don't. It doesn't like hurt my ears, but I don't think we can fully understand you. Yeah. Well, good. That's how tongues works. That's what. That's... <laughs> I think I completely understand what it says. Yes. <laughs> Maybe there's a frog voice. Let me look. Can it be deep? Not... Aren't frog voices like frog going like... Right? Mm -hmm. Shouldn't frog voices be deep? How about this one? Oh my god. <laughs> I just... <laughs> It's really funny Hello. because Jojo is like a tiny child. Yeah. And his voice being deep is hilarious. Quack, quack. It's kind of froggy too. Yeah. Wobble, 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 wobble. Sorry. I got. I was hearing the echo and I got like in a trance all of a sudden. <laughs> um. Okay. Sorry for taking you guys out of the scene. Um. What What was the last thing that happened? She's just trying to get I, him to come back and say. I told Jojo, honey. like, do not trust this, like, man. He wants to get the sharks to eat you. Jojo turns around. He, he's like, I don't know, like 50 feet away from you. He says, What? How come you can speak to me now? I can only. Oh my god, you're so, like, good. I can only do it, like, when I have a spell ready, and I had it ready today. I was planning on talking with you, but we saw him talking to you, so I thought we could trust him, but I guess not. I asked him to talk to you earlier, and he said he can't speak to you. What is your plan here? Why are you being mean to Jojo? What do you want to do with him? Marzipan, and I point to Marzipan, was, like, read his thoughts. And she told, and he did not want you to find your family. What did he ask you? Arvex said you guys didn't want to take me home. Like at the waterfall, when I pointed down that way, and I said, it's over there, and... You could have understood me this whole time, but you chose not to. 
I just want to go home. I, there's danger. Okay, we can take you home. Wait, did he? Did that happen? Did we? Did we ignore him? Or what happened? I mean, we went to the waterfall, and then we were like, "Do you live here?" And he was just swimming around. And then. No, I remember saying he pointed, or he looked. He looked to the south, and I'm well, pretty yeah, sure I, I said right he pointed. Right by the waterfall. Remember, I even tried to look for a secret passage, and my head like got caught under the water. So we didn't ignore mm -hmm. him. We just didn't know where to take him. Like. Yeah, I now think we what? didn't. I think we are just like you know a little stupid or sometimes. So I didn't. We didn't realize you that was your home. If you want to lead the way, we'll take you there. Um, that shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, you can lead the way for us, and we'll go. I'm not sure if we would like to take Orvax though. And I like turn to the rest of my group, and I'm like, Why did you tell him we are not gonna take him home? Why would you sell, tell him that? Yes, that is actually very weird. Why did you say that, Dordvex? Hold on. I'm trying to find the voice again. Which one? Oh, damn, I always forget. Oh. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? I, <laughs> I, uh, he's lying. He's lying. He's a kid. He's not gonna lie. You told him to run away from us, and he trusted you. You must have told him. How? Why would you tell him that? I, I, I don't believe you. I said no such thing. That's not what I said at all. Well, you're I, lying right now, and I. Don't I want said to hear that. that. I, uh, if I did say anything that maybe he interpreted that way then maybe i said it's taking a while to get there and i want to see his home too that's what i said <clears throat> so if that's if there's maybe i i will give it to him then perhaps he is misinterpreting the situation that doesn't make any sense why? <sighs> or Rex, why are you? Are you sure you're okay? You used, you were really hurt. Maybe <laughs> you you're like having post traumatic stress, and you're not completely yourself. Maybe you should stay here. We'll take Jojo, rest here. Well, maybe you know for a day. We'll go take Jojo home, and then we come pick you up to go to the next temple, so you can help us read. What it says there. You you wish to uh, for me to wait for you here? No, no, he uh, should come uh, with but us. But it could it could you be dangerous. To... I don't want to stay here by myself. Well, are you working for the bad people, and you just pretended to be one of the red wizards? Maybe you're one of the followers of. Sarah. What the no, uh, um I I swear upon the the holy light of Fay, the the bright burning flame, I swear that I I am not a, a minion of darkness. Can I I'm, inside I am one him? of the I am one of the red wizards. We we came to explore um <laughs> Omo and I don't remember what Omer said. His I think he knew that was it. I think. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, Can I we, inside check him or no? We we have also been researching a Sararak. Mhm. Mm and well, did you? We got attacked, didn't we? We didn't get very far. I mean, you got here. This is pretty far. I mean, Chalt is very dangerous. Thank you. That's very kind of you. You're welcome. I mean, I might be upset because I think you're trying to kill Jojo, but, you know... Uh, can I inside check him to see if he's actually, like, not shady? 
uh, when he said he's not, you know, working for a Sarah or somebody like that. Yeah, go ahead. Wow, inside 22. Um, he's being truthful that he is working for the Red Wizards, and uh, he seems pretty earnest about not being a minion of darkness. Okay, well, okay. Uh, Orvex, you know, we don't want to leave you here. It's dangerous, like you said, but we just uh, need to understand what is going on here. Like, uh, what, what are you doing, bro? Like... What are you hiding? What do you expect to happen when we take Jojo home? And why did you try to tell him to run away from us and that we weren't going to take him? Yeah, you're right. Uh, why did you do that? I, I disavow don't... any knowledge of of whatever you may be thinking that I was plotting because I, Jojo misunderstood what I was saying to him. Well, Terme now can speak Grong, Drone, whatever, and she heard you say run, run, run. I did hear that. Why did you tell him to run away from us? I just want that one answer. Yeah. J J there's no reason. I, do I don't know why. I just did it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have a very unstable mind. Okay, I'm very I sorry. Understand. You have PTSD. He has PTSD, guys. I think we can, like, you know, it's hard in the jungle. His whole people got burned. I mean, he was almost dead when we found him. This is your Maybe. thing, Terme. So if you want to vouch for him. That is fine. Um, you can see quite clearly he's acting very strange, but... He's acting shady. That's why I thought we shouldn't take him to well... Jojo's home. But you guys don't want to leave him here, so we can take him with us. Okay, let's go. It's <laughs> okay. I, we'll trust you, but if you hurt Jojo or any of Jojo's parents or siblings, unless there is a bully that's bullying Jojo, you cannot <laughs> hurt those people. If he's bullying him, you can you can't hurt him. Other than that, I mean, not fit, not like too much because you know you don't want to kill somebody for like minor bullying. But you know, it depends depends. But you know, I don't make threats. But if something happens, I promise you will be very sorry. I, I'm. I'm sorry we had this disagreement, and I vow to be honest with you in the future. Okay. Beautiful. Well, no. um, um, you know, we talked it out, we sorted it out, so we're very mature here. That, you know, good. So, Jojo, I'm so sorry this man scared you. Do you want to point us to your home? We can we can go there together. Do you want anything? Jojo. Do you want to tell us anything? Do you have any siblings? Hold on a second. Let's go back to Jojo's voice. I wonder if he's like, why do they call me Jojo? Hey. Jojo hey. here. Do you know your name? Oh. Is Jojo? Are you comfortable with the name Jojo? My it. name, my name is Prince Yorb the Second. Oh, Jojo, you're not joking, right? You're serious. I am for realsies, and I would very much appreciate it if we could go home now. I. I only heard Terme's part of the conversation, but I just want to go home. Okay, I look at Marzipan and I'm like, his name is Prince Yorb, the second. 
So. Wow. Uh, JoJo's a little prince? That is so he sweet. Is. Maybe if you kiss him, he might turn into a real human. We don't need to try that right now. Um, <laughs> but then, like, I'm like, okay, JoJo, do you have any siblings? Do you have... Who's your favorite? Do you really like Malachi's bald head? Also, What's you know, your... just so he's not worried. This about is really it. no time for... I mean, we can walk and talk. Yeah, exactly. Fun and games, you guys. Oh, wow. JoJo's very serious, guys. I did not realize that he's not, like... Happy go lucky. What's wrong, Jojo? Why are you worried? My family might be in trouble. <gasps> you need to go save them. You're the knight and prince in shining armor. You're gonna fight to save them? Do you know how to fight? It's okay. It's I don't want you to get hurt. It says I'm going. I'm going now. We are talking We're and walking, walking already. <laughs> we can talk and walk. Jojo, okay, you be can careful. Multitask. Okay, so to... he starts yeah. to head back to the waterfall, and we will follow. Yeah. Maybe Jojo's evil. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> um, Orvax. Needs to walk in the middle of us. Um, does anybody, like, hold Jojo's... Okay, I'll grab, like, Jojo's hand and talk and walk with him. I thought Jojo would really be, like, much more fun to talk to guys. Um, no offense, Jojo. You, you, sorry, sorry, Prince. Um, you, let's go save your family. So... Okay. Um, so they, he's, Jojo swims ahead and you guys proceed along path. Um, he leads you this way. Wait, are we Change in the map? the map? Oh, sorry. I forgot. I, okay. Yeah, I wish I had you guys on this map the whole time, but whatever. It's cool. Um. So he's taking you this way towards the blue square. Ooh, another temple. Okay. I'm assuming. Yeah. And when you get there, as you approach, Jojo, um, he's ahead of you. And he raises, uh, he stops and he raises uh, his hands above his head and he waves his arms and he says, I have returned. Please oh, do not. Evil. What, just because he says I have returned? I think only evil people say that. In this um, context, when he's apparently worried about his family and thinks they're dead, and that's what he says, I don't know. What if we're going to be sacrifices or something? But I can't even understand what he's saying, so that's fine. Yeah, don't worry, don't worry. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, he waves his arms, and then several um, grung stick their head over the wall, or, um, well... Hang on a sec. Alright, let me read you the description first. Monoliths adorned with prancing frog-like figures rise from the swamp. Beyond, a ruined edifice shaped like an arrowhead squats in the muddy water. Bushes and trees grow from its roof. At the pointed front of the building, steps ascend to a stone door caked in slime. Um, so, the building um, looks quite... Um, it's overgrown, right? Bushes and trees grow from its roof. Uh, this place looks like a, just a big rock that is in a swamp, but it's a temple. Um, okay. Or a shrine, anyway. And so, 
Um, well, when as he waves his arms above his head, a uh, few other grung stick their heads out from between the trees, um, and they pretty much immediately reveal themselves. Um, so what I was trying to express is that they were hiding. Mm -hmm. But when he does this, the, uh, the grungs jump out, and like one of them even jumps into the water and swims to Jojo. Um, and um, they're speaking in uh, grung. Uh, they're speaking in grung, and um, very, very quickly the, the grung tries to usher Jojo into the temple, into the shrine. Um, um, can Kermit, be... I guess you're, you wouldn't. It's an hour. Jojo. I don't know if it's. Oh, go ahead. What do you mean? I Jojo remember. moves way faster than you guys in the water. Oh, so yeah, fair. Um, you're not necessarily able to hear what they're saying. Okay. Okay. That's all. Do I, do I need to do, can I do a perception check to see if I can hear from that distance? I don't know how far we are. Um, but I'm going to say, hi, Jojo. Hi. Um, hello. I hope you're doing well. Uh, are, we, can, are we invited? Can we come? Smiley face. Um, Jojo we are friends. turns back um, and he says, Yes, please come. You are welcome by me. Okay. Yeah, and he, he says to everybody, Please do not shoot my friends. They come in peace. Um, they, um, if I'm role-playing Shiv, I want to keep a really close eye to Orvax, and if he's going to do something shady to attack him. Um, as Shiv, no, that's terrible. Um, and so, like, I smile, and I'm like, hello! How are you doing all? We had the pleasure to hang out with your prince. If, if his name is Prince, he told us that. Um, <laughs> really nice to meet you all. He's such a really okay. cute boy. Let me, let, me first, let me forward this into what is a productive scene. So, um, save, save that thought. Um, they escort you, and you're allowed to go inside, and when you do, uh, there is a chief. I don't I don't know how Omer does all the handouts. I'm just going to cut the paste of the picture. Um, it looks like this. Whoa, he a he's cool a fancy dude? little guy. Wow. And, um, you know what? We didn't... We didn't really need to come to this note for very long. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay. Where are you guys now? Bottom left. Oh. So now, can you see where I moved you, yep. Rita? Bottom middle. Hello, everybody. Oh, mm -hmm. I see. That's... There you go. So, you guys are on this map now. Right. Um, awesome. The, the one who is clearly a chief has. Um, you can tell by his headdress. Um, he... Oh, I guess all these guys, they're not inside. They're, so they live on top. They do not... Um, nothing on the... They don't live inside the shrine. They live on... They live around and on top of it. Okay. Um, these... So the chief approaches, and he says, You... You have returned, my son. You have returned, my son. <laughs> Is that a good voice? <laughs> That's really yeah. good. <laughs> yeah. I like it. 
thank you for returning him to me. You have come in a time of darkness, for we have been attacked not three days ago. But by who? I, Chief Yorm, welcome you. Thank we you, were attacked by... Well, I do not wish to trouble you with... Uh, with our troubles. We can offer you a treasure trove of gold as a reward. To do what? Also, who did you, who attacked you? We were attacked by humans. Humans. What are those? Have you met them? Humans. 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 <laughs> oh, I mean, Marzipan and Malachi are okay. Don't worry. Wait, did they have red robes? Yes. Are you familiar with these violent savages? As a matter of fact, we have one of them here. Orvax, explain yourself. And Shiv, like, draws his, like, thing out and, like, puts it right behind him. What? Well, what? I wasn't following the conversation. What happened? You explain what? And the I don't Red know what you're talking about. Attacked the, attacked the, attacked these people here. I did no such thing. I would never. I'm not a fighter. I told you that. I can't even. I. Do I'm a scribe. You know his guy. Do you Shit, know, you know have what you they seen have me do? Before? What did they make you do? <laughs> Maybe you have turned a new leaf. Have you turned a new leaf? Are you going to be a hundred percent honest? I don't believe you. I. I have never seen this man. Okay. Yeah. Not once, but his attire does seem oddly familiar. Orvex. Oh, I can't. Never mind. <laughs> Wait, can we not understand him? Is he not speaking the comments? Don't listen to him. Is is the um, chief speaking in common or no? Probably Grung, right? I mean, how far? So far, you've spoken to him in tongues. Okay, okay. Um, I'm like, um, can you speak in common? My friend there, yeah, they don't speak the language we're speaking, or like, I don't speak it either. Um, do you know what they came to, they, what they came to attack you for? They came for the cube. <laughs> mm. <laughs> they came for the puzzle cube. Um, they, they were very disrespectful, and when we tried to halt them from entering the holy shrine, they attacked us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Um, Three of us sure. have died. So who died? Three. Jojo ran away. I am glad. I am thankful you have brought him back. I mean, I'm sure Jojo would tell you we we are collecting the cube puzzle cubes as well. Um, we want to put the end to the to the death god. I don't know if you've seen him. He's corrupting this whole whole all of Chalf and then the whole world. Um, you have come to the right place. But, sadly, we do not have the puzzle cube. Oh. Okay. Who has it? 
the Red Wizards, as you call them, they have absconded with our precious artifact. Actually, uh, I'm not going to uh, overblow that. We've never seen that thing. But it... Are you sure they took it? Maybe they couldn't solve the puzzle. They left. They did not take any of our vast riches. They only left with the cube. Oh, so somebody saw the cube leave with them. Okay, okay. So what would you like us to do? Hunt down the red wizards? If you wish. There is nothing we have to offer you. Only peace. Wait, but you, you asked I... us to fight for your safety, didn't you? We... Do you think the Red Wizards will return? There have been others who have pilfered the cube before, or who have come and uh, treated us well, and we... we let them... Wait, okay, I'm getting confused here. Uh, Wait, didn't you say they need... I, they're gonna I give need us to, gold to... I need, I need... Erase the part where he never... where he said he never saw the cube before. Okay, he knows okay. what the cube is. I... I... Okay. Anything that I say after is canon, and anything that is inconsistent from before, erase it from your mind. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, so, he says, Yes, many have taken the cube before, but it always is returned. Wait, somebody takes the cube? Or does it come by itself? Other travelers have taken the cube. I think she means when it returns. Is it not, magically, or is it placed by Not the all of them attack us. Most come, do, most, like yourselves, have no quarrel. But the Wait, red wizards were cubes? a different oh, breed. Yeah, those were No, weird. there is only one. Okay. What I'm so you can rush I'll tell you out of character. What he's trying to tell you is that other adventurers have come and gotten the cube successfully, but it's brought back each time. Oh, and if you want to know they, how it's brought back, a, like a, zomb a zombie brings it back. Mm. Or a yanti sometimes. Okay. Okay then. Okay, I tell this to my this to my friends, so like Mazapan and Fritz. So this was three days ago. Um, how long ago were you, Orvex? Were you and your team attacked? Three days. Do you know where the puzzle cube is? With the red wizards. No, no, no. I think she's asking Orvex, not the. Oh yeah, I'm asking chief. Orvex. Sorry. Oh. Yes, uh, you are asking me what is the... where my friends are? I don't know. I was crushed by a house, okay? They're not my friends. If they were, they would have, mm, um, you know, uncrushed me, like you guys. Which is why I think you guys are my friends, but now you don't trust me all of a sudden. Well, I thought so... that they had all died. Wasn't that your story? No? Was I just assuming the worst? Obviously not, because I, uh, I didn't. The this thing must have all happened after I was crushed. Mm. I've been crushed for like, for like, six days. Oh, okay. At least. Okay. I don't know. I lost track of time. Maybe that's why I have PTSD. Why are you judging me? I'm not judging you. You've been crushed for six days and you didn't die of dehydration? It rained. <laughs> oh, good, good, good. Um, okay, then they're obviously trying to get the puzzle pieces. Um, they've obviously come to this temple already, so we need to find them. Um, we have five of them, luckily, so that's pretty good, but... There's still four more, including this one, so... 
Uh, Terme, can you ask the chief if he knows where um, the, in which direction did the red wizards go when they left? The chief speaks common. Oh. Uh, Terme, when she requested it. When she requested oh, it, she spoke common. Okay. Um, um, Chief, do you, or perhaps your scouts, or some of your guards, did you happen to see in which direction the Red Wizards went after they got the cube? The Red Wizards traveled to the east. West. I always get those two mixed up. <laughs> they went west when they left. Okay. Okay. And um, you have not seen the uh, zombie or Yuanti return the cube, so they still are presumably in possession of it? Yes. Okay. Though the zombies might take longer than a few days. I will cherish the day when the zombie brings back the cube. Because then I will know the red wizards have died. Ha <laughs> ha! Bastards. Okay, so we saw the bonfire that was burning the red wizard around yesterday. Is that right? That's when we found the bonfire. I believe so. So maybe in a day or two it will come back, unless there are two groups of dead red wizards. Um, I think we need to talk to Orvax like alone. Maybe he'll be more honest with us. Yes. He seems a little less. Yeah. Okay. Um. Do you need anything from us? Yeah. No, all I can say is that I am sorry you did not, that we were not able to save the cube for you, because you have saved my son, and for this I am thankful. I mean, we can come back tomorrow and check if you have it, you know, maybe you'll be back by then. Um, uh, do you, wait, you said at the beginning you needed help, though. Is that some part of the things you said, like, is not actually what happened? I think he was offering to give us money for bringing Jojo back, not to do another quest. Oh. But I'm not, I'm not sure, I don't know. That's correct. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Well. But it was a lie. Okay, I'm sorry, I... What, if you want this... Untold treasures inside of the uh, inside of the shrine, but it's all a lie. That's that's the whole thing, you know. Uh, I might as well tell you what was in the temple. You, you, there was a there was a. I mean, you could still try to solve the puzzle, you know, just for fun <laughs> if you want to. We have a gift shop. <laughs> it's like a, it's like an escape room. Oh, that sounds nice. So we don't have to fight any monsters. We just have to solve what we need, and then we can call you for clues, and you give us up to three clues, maybe. And... <laughs> Is that your business model? With like, you know, it opens up. Yeah, pretty much. It's uh, twenty gold for an hour. Wow, that's... I bet you would be able to buy treasures pretty quickly with that type of rate. <laughs> Alright. Um, but, yeah. Uh, it was, a uh, When you go in there, everything is, like, crazy riches and stuff. Um, but it's all... Spoilers. It's all an illusion. Mm. Um, so why was Jojo pointing to the waterfall? 
It was yeah. because you guys were far away mm. when he pointed towards the waterfall. Got it. Um, yeah, okay. Maybe that's why Jojo thought we were not, you know, taking him to the right spot. Okay, I do think we need to talk to Orvax. Okay. Um, since they don't have the cube, right? We trust them. Goodbye, um, Prince. Mm -hmm. I had a lot of fun times with you. You're so cute. Goodbye, goodbye. Mm. Um, okay, let's go. Jojo says, thank you for bringing me home. You're welcome, Jojo. It was great spending time with you. I'm sorry you thought we were not nice people and tried to run from us. It's kind of hurt my feelings because, you know, we I kind of like went to a, to a frog chemo's mouth to save your life. But it's okay. You know, no hard feelings. I will miss you and forever remember you. And I like have a shed a single tear as I walk away. <laughs> Orbex said that... Um, he, he said that uh, the red wizards we're gonna come back, and that's why I should hurry home. Mm. And he he said that you guys are working with them. Well, Orvax is one of the Red Wizards, so <laughs> technically we are working with. He's kind of working for us, so not really. Um, now I'm. I don't think he told you the truth. Um. But be careful. I think all the red wizards died, so don't worry about it. But you know, be careful. I don't know. It might be. Maybe he. Maybe they're. You know, they know we have the puzzle cube, so they're gonna find us. And then Orvex. Is... Okay. And you know, Orvex will be able to switch sides easily, you know, and just be like, oh, hey guys. Yeah. Yeah. You know? I think. Okay. But I don't, I don't well, know, yeah. I think Andre's thing is making, like, sounds every few seconds. Yeah, it sounds kind of like Darth Vader. We should tell I'm him sorry. he comes back. Hello, I'm back. Do you think your microphone every three seconds is making Darth Vader sounds? Weird. Okay. It's better now. I think we need to talk to Orvax. So, what do you? Uh, so you guys are leaving the shrine now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. With no cube, huh? Oh man, you got jacked. Um, and that's what Orvac so... means, right? <laughs> or do you say that, Andre? Uh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. You guys got jacked. You know, it's really sad, and uh, I apologize, but. Um, I was not responsible for that. I hope you don't think this reflects poorly upon me. <laughs> God, this is so hard. Um, Shiv. Terrain's like, it's okay, it's not your fault. Maybe. Um, Shiv, Shiv is going to be like, I think we need to have, wait, let me, let me try to do a Shiv voice. Oh, oh. no, I can't. <laughs> I think we need to have a discussion. It seems like you haven't been fully honest with us. And I don't want my hand to slip while I'm holding a knife to your neck. Wow, Shiv. Wow. <laughs> That's a gangster. <laughs> Okay, well, what do you guys want to talk about? Well, I was you... thinking we should probably go our separate ways. Why did you tell Jojo the red wizards so. are coming back, huh? What? Why did you... What the kind of nonsense is no, that? No, no, we're not playing this game or Vex, okay? You're Shiv acting Shiv all... takes the knives out and starts to, like... Starts to slowly, like, just running his fingers around across them. You're acting... While Marzipan is talking to him. Yeah, you're acting... Okay, too okay. Too you're acting... You too guys too are too smart for me, okay? You guys are too clever, okay? I'll admit it. I'll tell you 
I lied to Jojo because I was afraid that if we went to the shrine, that you would, that y that you wouldn't be my friend anymore because because I'm one of the red wizards and. Jojo told me that they attacked the shrine. Bullshit, because you told us that you didn't even know that they got the puzzle box. What? Jojo told me that... Oh, I see. ...the red wizards attacked. I see what you're saying. Still, you are one of the red wizards. Where are they holding this other puzzle cube? Where are you meeting your other people? I don't know. I don't care. I... They left me. I don't care about them anymore. I'm with you guys now. You just... I... Two seconds ago, you said it's wise for us to separate our ways. I think... You... Because you guys are being mean to me. You guys... Don't trust me! Of course! We don't trust you at all. Maybe you shouldn't have trusted us. We, I'm, and Termi is like, well, you know, we are trustworthy. He's... But... <laughs> uh, you know, it's... You lied to us after eight hours we know you. You tried to get the little frog person to die. You wanted him to run away. What if he, a shark would have attacked him? I think you're being a little cagey. Do your people have... Why don't you be honest with us? Why is it so hard for you? Maybe you should let Marzipan read your thoughts. Yeah. Or something like that. <laughs> if you're not lying. Or I can cast... I don't think I have it ready. Let me see if I have, like... The truth spell. Ready <laughs> today. I don't have it ready. I, you know, I can only have so many things. Um, Arvex have... stares at Marzipan, <laughs> and he's like, "Go ahead, read my thoughts." Okay. I dare you. I'm going to detect your thoughts, Mister. Well, he can think of anything he wants. Maybe that's not smart. <laughs> he can think. His the surface, lie. his surface thoughts are, "Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you." <laughs> Yeah, throw him in the lava, okay? <laughs> Listen, uh, whatever, okay? Is, Steve is gonna um, grab his hook and... Um, can he grapple? Like, he cannot grapple with it anymore. Um, he just is gonna, like, nonchalantly go with his blade toward him and, like, just put it on his torso. Um, and say... If I push in here, think that is your liver. <laughs> and then he moves it like three inches. And he's like, if I push it here, that'll just be your intestine. Um, Alright, then... okay, this isn't funny. Stop. No, no knife play, please. I don't want it. Listen. If you're going to kill me, just kill me. Listen. I don't want... I should be like, I don't want to kill you. I just... Be honest with me. I just, I want us to be friends. And I just want to know why the fuck did you lie to us about the cube? Your people have it. You ran away. You got ambushed. The people I died. I didn't know about the cube. No, that all happened after. I didn't know about Listen, the cube. Listen, I think after his what? story about. So, he was trapped six days ago. Three days ago, they ambushed the frogs, killed them, and got the cube. He's saying that along the journey, Jojo was talking to him about how the red wizards attacked his family. He, upon realizing that we were going to take Jojo home, did not want us to find out that the red wizards killed the froggies and have the puzzle box. So, he told Jojo, go home now, Jojo! So that we wouldn't meet the froggies and learn the truth. I think it's plausible. Yeah, but I don't think he was trapped under that thing for six days without water and survived. That's true. Six days is a long time. What did your goddess say to you when you found him, you know? like, Do you remember? She just said Where were you six days ago? 
Huh? What about you? We were in. Uh, we were fighting. We were infiltrating the Zentarum Guild, and I think we killed everybody in the Zentarum. Yes, I think that's correct. Does he like look weirdly confused or scared by that? And because I feel like that's way, crazy. I feel like when you found him, he wasn't pinned under rocks. It was like he might have had like a a room that was like partially collapsed and there was just no way out from that room. Okay, okay, because I envisioned he was so, like crushed underneath rocks and rebels and we removed rebels from on top of him. That's why I was like, that's, that's unreasonable. Too, yeah. But okay, in that okay. way, okay. Listen, okay. We need Orvex, you know, he's smart, he reads the language, he's a capable thing person, man. Um, so... And you're... God instructed you to help him. Yeah. So. yeah. I mean, the things I'm saying is a shiv, not Terme. Um, and Terme is like, yeah, I mean, I agree. I think he's been good. He's tried to... Yes. Yes, you're right. So let's go. He's being a little shady, but, you know, he's an old skinny man. Maybe he's just a weirdo, you know? Um, listen. What do I have to say? To prove my loyalty. I just I don't, was saying that I, I believe you, Orvex. <laughs> Why do you have to be I, this way? I am, I am helping you. I want to prove my loyalty to you guys. If we see the red wizards, I'm on your side. And okay. But you know what? What if they're not actually... Who cares about the grung, really? I mean, come on. They, You guys get into fights all the time. Who's, I mean, who's we to do, say that? But I think we're trying to be better. I mean, I really am trying to be better, and I think. Well, you know, you guys are passing judgment on my friends really quickly, you know, and you don't even know them yet. That and by the way, they're not my friends because they left me in a cave, in, so yeah, I don't well, like them anymore. Just, That's why I'm on your guys' side. Just to recap. Okay. okay, I like that. I believe revenge is a powerful tool, so hopefully, you want to take it on them. Um. Okay, who wants to decide where we go next? Do you know where they might want to go so we can go steal this thing off of them? I don't know. They're not... They wouldn't be staying in... I didn't even know they were alive. Okay. okay. They obviously weren't staying at the same camp where they left me because... Maybe they attacked us was with a fireballs that there. night. Yeah. You said they can do magic. Maybe they were the ones who attacked us that night. There are... I... I really doubt it. You do? Don't you think they want yes. to find the puzzle cubes that we have? I mean, now that you know us, we are friends. Let's say you didn't know us, and you knew there were these they, like group of rats, they... attack people that have the puzzle cubes. Would you okay, and your you friends attack Okay, you are free you? to speculate on that. You are free to speculate on that, okay. but I think you're crazy. Okay, you just that. think that they didn't. Okay, that's fine. Okay, um, okay. okay so we can are... talk to them. Maybe we can work with them. Yeah, there are two uh, temples left. Well, we have to go through the city. It looks really fun. Okay. We're right here, right? So, yes. like, let's say we're, like, right there, like, on the edge. I okay. think that round thing looks good. The round oh, thing, the um, Chief Yarb. I'm sorry. Let me, let's rewind. Oh. I could have divulged that information to you. Okay. Um, or Jojo is going to come back. Hey. Hey, guys. It's Jojo. Hi, Jojo. <laughs> Jojo here. <laughs> I forgot to tell you something. Thank you for coming back. The big circular area. That's where the Yon T live. Oh, good to know. So don't go there. Unless we were ready to kill all of them. Right? Um, and then now, just at this very moment, one hour has passed. And then okay. it goes back to Jojo being like, Deep, 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 <laughs> nope. I'm like, Jojo, I can't understand you anymore. Hearts. And I like send him kisses. And I look at Marzipan, and I'm like, Marzipan, doesn't that let you, like, talk to people telepathically? Pointing at her mask. I don't think it does. 
I'm pretty sure it's just for mind reading. Oh. Or maybe it does. Whatever. Let's just move on. I just wanted to give you the information that the circle is where all the Yanti are headquartered. Can you hear me? Yes, now we can. Uh, it does let it does let me speak telepathically. Um, yeah. Okay, let's go. Should I talk to him though and ask? They said the Yanti live here, so we should probably not go there. Okay. Um. Do we want to then try to go around? Because we don't want to, like, deal with them, do we? Yeah, let's do this, something like this. Um... Where, what are you drawing? This blue thing. Okay. Wait. Oh, I, I like that. Um... Yeah. Can we look at, like, maybe this building or something, like, as we are leaving to see if, like, we find any yeah, evidence absolutely. of, like, any other people living here? Um, he said they went west, so I don't think we can see any footprints, but maybe they came this way. If they oh. went west, then they'll, they'll only be... Unless they went to the first two temples that we're going to now... Unless they went there first, and they already have those, they're, the only temples left are the ones we've already gotten. So if they're going to the west, they're going to be met with a lot of failure. Empty temples? Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. Um, um, so yeah, Andre, we'll take that path, and uh, like Terme suggested, we'll check around um, the buildings and stuff just to see if there's any uh, proof or sign that people were living there or holding up in the houses or having trekked through there or anything. And probably Shiv would do this since he's like the ranger. Okay. Um... So, what, are you going to roll for or something? You want to roll for tracking, then? Um, I'm just scanning yes. at what your guys' trajectory was. And, um... Uh, let me pull up Fritz Shiv's, like, paper, and I'll... Roll. So... Survival, maybe? Hold on a second. Did you roll for shit yet? Oh, yeah. I, I was asking his... survival. Mm. Yeah. I don't know how he did. I'm, like, at the very top. He Eight. Did poor. Yeah. He did poorly. He did poorly. Poorly. Okay. Poorly. When you guys are walking, um, you see a lot of snake-themed graffiti mm -hmm. on the wall as you're walking to the right. Um, a lot of snakes eating humanoid figures. Um, what other kind of snake-themed art is there? Um, coiled serpents. All sorts of snakes. A snake with mouse, a mouse hat. Um, also, you know, snake themed, um, genitals, you know, snake sex jokes. Sure, sure. Snake boners. I'm like, I don't get it. What is that supposed to be? <laughs> and... Well, let's see. Let me look at one thing. You guys can discuss this. Wow, these snakes sure are more creative than I thought they would be. I mean, I don't know, like... 
they are cultured, but like, I guess if you can call this culture, it's like really violent. Yeah, but and this really is self-centric. Like the, uh, you know, this is just the graffiti. It's like the the ruffians are doing this. So. But are they? But I, is it all the ruffians? Because I feel like this is the only type of things they have. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know much about you, Auntie. Uh, I only know um. that I think they're evil, right? We fought some of them, if you remember. They yeah. tried to kill us. Yeah. <laughs> what about the uh, the snake's rule? <laughs> what is it? snake people in the heart? Oh yeah. Frog people. <laughs> That's the graffiti that you see. <laughs> it takes some transcription, you know, but you manage to translate it. Right. Um. I uh, yeah. I would suspect. Termin oh, sorry. Go ahead. Yes. By studying the graffiti, you have learned how to say how Yanti refer to themselves in their own language. Ooh. How? Do, oh. What is that? Interesting. Yeah. Um. You just have to imagine it. I mean, you know, like we did. The Native Americans. Yeah. Didn't yeah. call themselves Native Americans. Right. right? They're like, it kind of sounds like this, the slippery ones, but like in a good way. And then anything that's not slippery is like less than or like savages. So like we are seen as savages because we're not slippery and they are slippery. So <laughs> like they're good. God. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's like, wow, maybe I should go to the university for like linguistics after this, guys. Yeah, I think you should. You're doing a great job. What do you I think, Orvex? I... I don't ask him. Wasn't that impressive that she could just, uh, you know, she translated that just by reading the graffiti? I'm more interested in what the wizard has to say. Okay. I'm not a real red wizard. Yeah, but you're just a scribe. You know, Fritz could be. Mm, no, he's not a scribe. <laughs> um... What? Oh no, I'm happy to scribe for you guys. If that's how I can be useful to you, then that's how I survive. <laughs> you want some scriptions? I can do it. I can write you some scripts. Like prescriptions? <laughs> Just descriptions. Like, it, it's, I have because very good handwriting. It's going to be really good for your book you want to write <laughs> That's or your true. story. That's very true, yeah. You, you um, can maybe at night tonight, like, tell him. How stuff about I just write. write down everything you say? Will that make you happy? Yes. I think you should ask her to say, like, take his discs down because, like, she talks a lot. So maybe she should just tell you exactly what she wants you to write. Yeah, I will dictate it to you later tonight. I like that idea. Okay. Dictation before bedtime. It's the best time to have dictation. <laughs> I thought you would be like a morning creative person, but maybe you're like a night creative person. No, you, you really know... like giving speeches to us in the morning. That's why I'm saying that. That's true. We'll see. Whenever the whenever I feel inspired, the I mood, will get you some know, dictation in. Um... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, um, I think Shiv's survival check was bad. Um, yeah, so we just, yeah, we are too interested in look. Shiv is like, wow, is that how snakes have sex? Yeah, exactly. Look <laughs> like, does not really look at the ground as he's walking. Uh, but I would like to say that as we get closer to the wall, I would suspect that we're kind of looking out for like scouts and guards and patrols and just trying to be generally quiet don't you guys have pass without trace or something i don't know if we do shiv does but oh. i'm not sure if he's gonna use it i sure why not 
Yeah, it's like... He never uses his spells. Yeah. Well, I mean... Uh, he, he passed cast darkness last time because of the fight. Yeah, why not? Let's do it. You know, Hunter's Mark, you know, be damned. Um, uh, yeah, let's do Pass Without a Trace. He doesn't have any more level 2 spells. Um, pass Without Trace. Okay, oh. so you don't even have to worry about it then. Awesome. Um, okay. Um, well... This is funny. You guys are walking. And as you're... When you cross... This wide avenue, right? You're basically taking a leap of faith at that point. Right? Because you're in the wide open. Wait, are you talking about this uh -huh. one? Yeah. Okay. Yes. I guess that's a good point. I could have had our path go around a little, but that's fine. It's okay. Yeah. We're doing it. Um, well, you don't have to do it. You stopped. I'm telling you where we stopped at the avenue. <laughs> but you're between two walls now, right? Mm -hmm. And so now you guys are taking the time to pause and look around. And you look to your left, which is south. Somebody looks over the wall. And on the other side of the building, there's a familiar looking obelisk. Oh. Wait, south here? as in like, this is south down here, right? Yeah. This is the... Location of the obelisks. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Wow, nice. Yeah, that kind of looks like yeah, has a it thing. looks okay. like a, cool. We thought okay, it was this like, one. Oh. <laughs> Let's go there. Yeah. Any drawings on the obelisk? Um, okay. Give me one minute. Sure. Actually, now would be a good time. For everybody to take a break if they need to. If you want to go get up and walk around a bit. Whatever. One thing before we go, if there's drawings on the thing, I'm going to ask. I might forget because we're going to take a break. I'm going to ask our scribe to be like, maybe, you know, if you can, if you have drawing skills, if you don't mind, please like draw that uh, painting, uh, those animals. <laughs> um, I will read you this. When we um, get back. Or you know what? I'll just copy and paste it into the chat and then uh, you can read it at your leisure <laughs> whenever you get back. I'll see you guys in like ten, five to ten minutes. Okay. Okie dokie. A pair of needle-like columns mark the entrance to a walled ruin in the courtyard beyond Banyan Roots envelope a squat building. The stone doors that seal the entrance are carved with images of snarling bears with long, sharp claws.
Is anyone else back? Hello? Hello. Hey. Hello. 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 That's everybody then, right? Uh, let me take you guys to your destination. Let me take you to your destination. Guys, imagine if like the drunk people Let just lied to us straight you. up and we totally believe them because of Jojo. Can you guys see? Yeah. There you go. Alrighty. Uh here we go. Obo uh oh, sorry. This is uh so just so you guys know, the last shrine was non Knongs. If you, okay. you didn't guess that by well, it didn't really occur to me until just now. Nong Nong is the <laughs> the god of frogs. He was the frog spirit. So that's why the, Nong, the frog people like it here. With the four number, yeah. Okay. So Wait, but where was the frog Hemoth? Uh, is that a that that's a different frog green? guy? No, it was a Shagambi. I guess there's Oh Shagambi was the frog Hemoth? Yeah. What was Nong Nong? It says the Nong Nong the Grong. Shagambi the Kamadan. Oh, cool. Okay. Oh, it's Kubazon the frog hemoth. Yeah, Kubazon. Oh, so oh yeah. Shigami's the, the other one. Yeah, Kuba. Oh yeah. I. Where is Kubazon? Well. Kubazon. Yeah, he was the one. Sorry, I don't think. Oh, never mind. No, we did. Oh yes, I see it. Kubazon. He's I'm looking way at on the, the left. Yeah. And I like. Am I... Where is Kubazon? Like I just been. Not looking. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it was uh, a pair of needle like columns mark the entrance to a walled ruin. In the courtyard beyond Banyan roots envelop a squat building. The stone doors that seal the entrance are carved with images of snarling bears with long, sharp claws. Hey. Cute. Yes, yes. I think we should take these drawings down. Um, and, um, yeah, let's push open the door. Alright, let's see. Um, Shiv is going to look for traps. Right here. Nice thinking, Shiv. Trap looking. Wow, Ooh. nice investigation. Double, wow. <laughs> Alright. So, Shiv manages to figure out that these doors have uh, rusty hinges. And if you open this door, it's going to make a really loud noise. Hmm. 
Mark and the pen. he points it's... out. He points out that Yonti could be anywhere. Yeah. Marzipan, can you make it really quiet when I open this door? Or make us very quiet? Yes, you want me to cast silence around us? Yes, please. Okay, let's do it. I will cast silence around us. You can move there? silence. No, around us. At the door, so like noise. Well, you're ready. gonna cast silence just because I told you the door has rusty hinges. Yep. Well, you said it in a way that it sounds like we need to be careful of the Yuanti. I think you told us that when he got two. I was telling you something rolls. because you crit. Okay. Can he? Okay. Okay, actually, actually. Yeah, like, let's just open he's it like, slowly. He, he's like, well, maybe not if you don't want to use your spell slot. Um, um, Terme, can we use some of the oil to put on the hinge in the door to make it not creaky? Ooh, smart. Smart. Yeah, and Terme comes with the oil, like with the, with the thing, and gets produces oil and like pours it on the hinges to make it smooth and like i mean this is a cooking um, oil but i think it should work it should work yeah there's also um there's um writing above the door oh there is um and then as terme goes closer and sees that it's like it's like all of that could you please translate for us Ah, now you want my help? We have always Yeah, I can do it for you. No problem, easily. I I just wanted... Yeah, sure. I'm glad to be useful to you. Just, you know, think about that next time you accuse me of... Don't be um, snarky. Yeah, you know what? You need a real <laughs> attitude adjustment, okay? <laughs> I think we've just... It's really hot in the sun, and I think everybody it gets really, you know... It's a lot, and I understand you've been under rebel for rebel for six days, so we were a little harsh, but we've been burned before. Um, do you see Malachi? He's like, you've seen him shoot things, especially that T-Rex. He shot me like he was shooting that T-Rex not too long ago, so you know we are a little on the edge. It's not your fault. I'm sorry. Could you please translate for us? Yeah, sure. No problem at all. It's going to take me a little bit of time though. This looks like a different, it, it, uh, it's old Omoan, which is a very ancient dialect. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a little bit more difficult for me to translate. Okay, so as you're doing that, we'll open the door and see what we see inside. Perfect. So you oiled the hinges? Mm -hmm. Yeah, to make it not loud. Okay, well, the oil works splendidly. Um, you do have to sort of knock some of the rust off with a hammer or something. Okay. Shiv knows all this intuitively with his double crit. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he guides, like, the process. Yeah, um... Oh, I thought you were going to say that technically when we met Shiv, he was a guide. <laughs> uh, yeah. So the doors swing open. And it's just swinging open. How do I interact with this thing? Hang on a second. If there's a trap and he didn't tell us and make up this thing <laughs> about, like, he needs to translate. You know, you're going to feel really bad when you find out that this is actually an adorable Zorbo. Okay. Did you yeah. think you are going to be playing with a Zorbo today? You see this thing? It looks like Cubone. Oh, he's so cute. Mm. That's so cute. When he's zoomed out, he looks like uh, he's wearing a skull. Oh my god. Let me zoom out. Oh, is that why you said he's not actually like that big? <laughs> is, am I still doing the voice? Yeah. Yes. Oops. Well, that's okay. <laughs> um, he's, uh, 
Yeah, he's just sitting there, um, watching you guys. Um, Wait, what? Is this real? Yeah, he's sitting on the ground. Wait, Where he's there when from? we came? Uh, he might have appeared. Okay. You know, this time or that time. You know, huh? whatever. He's there now. I want to wave to him. He's not that big though, right? Uh, no. <laughs> his, his, uh, little... Let me tell you what size he is precisely. <laughs> I haven't looked at his stats. Ba -ba -ba -doo 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 -doo. Um, small. Aww. Okay. His uh, gnome size. Aww. Hello. There. Little guy. The, the Zorbo shakes his head at you. Like a no? Um... Or like just a little cute, like... He animal. nods. He nods his head forward. Okay. In a shaky manner. Do you want to come inside with us? He just sort of looks at you and looks away. He doesn't really mind your presence one way or the other. Do I have any leftover crocodile meat? Um, yeah, I guess. Why not? Wait, so when we open the door, this ha he appears? I didn't say that. Okay. Is the door open now? Sure. You can go through the door. I'm going to throw him a piece of crocodile meat. I don't know if you can open doors as the GM. You just have to walk through it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yep. So Shiva, Shiva walks in. She was like, cat. 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 And walks in. Um, <laughs> is it doing anything? I I look at Orva. Do we. Uh, actually, I look at Fritz. And I'm like, Fritz, do you know anything about these creatures? Uh, maybe being from here and all. Well, hey, hold on, guys. Don't leave what? me alone with the freaky <laughs> skull no, don't demon call thing. Him freaky. He's very cute, <laughs> and we didn't even leave you alone, okay? I'm sorry. Fritz, will you stay out here with me? We can talk about. Maybe you can teach me some wizard things. Oh my god. Come on, man. I, the, the wizards. Red wizards, they never taught me anything. They, they, they always were just like, copy that. Copy my notes, you idiot. You printer. You human printer. Wow. <laughs> why, don't, why don't you come in with us? Well, how am I supposed to translate this message? Um, while, I'm found, while I'm with you guys. I gotta stay here to do it. That's fair. Okay. Is that little creature, is it a beast or is it um, humanoid? Um, oh my god, can you talk yeah, to him, Yeah, he wants to Fritz? see if he can speak with small beasts. I don't think really? you're entitled to that information. Mm. Well, can I do, like, a nature check or can I try? Like, I could just use the ability, right? Yeah. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Hey, little buddy. I don't really know how uh, the ability works because it's... It's like innate. You just get him. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see ability. Speak. Just through... Um, it's like no mish. Well, sounds and gestures. Beasts. You may communicate simple ideas with smaller, smaller beasts. They can understand ah. the things of your words. Wow, cool. Well, it's simple ideas. You can say, how's yeah. it going? <laughs> yeah, just kind of like a greeting or like ask him if there's danger here. Yeah. That kind of thing. Okay. Well, this creature, I imagine that for you to understand this creature, it does, there is uh, understanding in its eyes when you do that. 
because of your gnomish magic. Mm -hmm. But, um, it doesn't do the same back to you, right? Okay. It's not doing fucking hand mo gestures because it's the animal, so it's communicating with its own gestures. Okay. You know, like a cat that is agitated oh, right, communicates right, right. a certain way, mm -hmm. right. right? Like flicking its tail. Right. So, um, he, he say, how are you? And... He just, uh, he sort of just blinks at you a couple times, and it's like, uh, the dude, you know? It's like the Big Lebowski. He's just like, yeah, I'm cool. <laughs> I, I'm trying to ask him if there's any danger around. Um, he just shrugs his shoulders, and, uh, Indicates a serpentine, hmm. but expresses that they're not bothered by them often. Hmm. And I also ask him if he's hungry. He wouldn't refuse food. Alright, so... Um, oh, he, well, he has the crocodile. Marzipan already gave him the crocodile. Uh, He's okay. like, no, nah, I'm good. He's like, no, nah, I'm good, bro. <laughs> 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 do, do you want some food? Do you, do you want some crocodile? Uh, maybe I ask him if he likes the crocodile. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How is that? <laughs> God, that's so funny. We just, like, gave Jojo back, and I feel like we're about to adopt another one. We're another one? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, please. We're playing Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. Now we just gotta, gotta get him a fight. Ball. Okay, well, um, I'm not, like, concerned with him. Then. Yeah. When Shiv yeah. walks in, is there anything on the walls? Uh, let me tell you. Um, the walls of this dark corridor are covered with painted reliefs, showing Omo and people hunting, harvesting fruit, planting crops, crafting weapons, feasting, fighting, weaving, and skinning animals. It's a story to be told here. Uh, eight empty torch brackets protrude from the walls under the reliefs. Okay, so I assume it's, is it right here, or do I need to keep walking to be able to see that? Like, oh, these are the reliefs like one by these one? different, yeah. Okay. Six, seven, eight, yeah, so there's a, an empty torch bracket under each of those reliefs, from what I understand. Okay, okay. Um, does the... Is, like, different things in each of them? Different aspects of what you've already said. Andre? What? That's like the... What did uh, you say? All of these eight reliefs have... They depict basically what you just said. So like one is skinning, hunting, gathering. They're all... It's not... There's not a different picture on each one, right? Sorry, there's no more that you need to say about the reliefs. No. Okay. So That's yeah. just what's down the corridor. At the end of the corridor is a door. Okay. Um, does the Corvo, is that what his name is? Cor whatever. D does the bear, bear... It would appear that the torches... Wait. Can you see the torch reliefs on the wall? I guess no. not. No. That's why I was asking, because I was wondering if each torch well, you was can like, see the... associated. We can see the painting. I suppose. Yeah. Um... Protrude from the walls under the reliefs. So it's, yes, yeah. it's directly under the re... Um, can we cast light um, underneath one of the images um, where the torch would be? Uh, and see if it changes the picture at all. Well, Shiv is going to be like, are you guys coming? <laughs> Everybody's outside still. Uh, Orvex, yeah, what do you <laughs> think about how much more time you're going to need? Uh, um, I 
Well, you know what? Just I uh, I I'm almost done. I got um Obolaka teaches us to tread. Okay, yeah, we can And let that's you as finish. far as Uh, we warily and and. Obalaka the Zorbo, Zorbo, whatever. Does the bear creature look like? Does he bear any resemblance to the bears on the obelisks? Yeah, they're Zorbos. Oh, okay. Because it just said bears, so I was just making sure. Um, okay. Cool. Uh oh, oh those bears. Yeah. Wait, where do you see a bear? Um, In the uh, notes you send with that to us. The stone doors that seal the entrance are carved with images of snarling bears with long, sharp claws. Oh yeah, they're they're zorbos. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm pretty. Orba, Obalaka is the zorbo, right? Yeah, yeah. Obalaka the zorbo. Yep. Yes. Um, okay. There we go. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, I think Shiv just, actually, while he's finishing uh, up. Uh, yeah, when he's there, can he look to see if the store is locked? Wait, wait, before you do that, Shiv, um, I want to just, like, hold up a torch, or maybe... You can open the, you can open the door. The okay. door's not locked. I'm not going to open it. I just wanted to see if it was locked. Maybe Fritz can cast light on my hand or something, but I want to do... I want to make a light source where the torch would be and see if it changes the picture or image or uh, anything about the... No. Nope, no? No. Nope. Okay. No effect. Okay. Okay. Can, is there any, like... Is it just a torch holder or is it like a... Um... Like, is there stuff there that if it ca catch fire, like, is it going to catch fire? Does that make sense? Like, do you mean, is the torch what? there and it's just not lit? Is it essentially, like, a brazier that, like, if we just, like, light a match on it, is it going to catch up? Or is it, like, do we I have to put a torch a in there? Torch holder. I think. Yeah, they're just, I don't know what, it's just a torch holder. She just wants to know if we light it. I was just wondering catch. if, like, light cantrip, like, is light rather than maybe we need fire, fire for it to turn on. Right. So I, like, do a fire bolt in that area to see if it will do anything. That doesn't that... do anything. Okay. okay. Like, if it was a painting under the paint thing and you needed heat. Or, like, shadows or something, I was thinking. Uh, okay, um, so... That was the last puzzle, so... <laughs> <laughs> it could work. Oh, um, you're right. So, um... let's... Okay, are we ready to go? Are you done? Sir? Uh, are you talking to me? Ordovex. Yes. Is he not done? Did he finish? Finish what? The, the translation. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Um, sorry, I'm trying to read ahead. This is what Omer does. Yeah. <laughs> also, he he totally zones out because he's trying to figure out what is happening. Um, next room. No. A glorious sun is carved. What? <laughs> The, if want, okay, you know, look, if he finishes you guys. Oh. Ubalaka teaches us to tread warily and. And stay in the light. Oh. Oh, okay. 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 Cast light. <laughs> you guys really take advantage of me. Sorry. Listen, Orvex, people have talents, and it's nice to be appreciated for your talents. That's all we're doing, you know? You're helping us a lot, big guy. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, well, 
secret. Uh, do you feel like going inside, or should we just hang out here? You know, um, because I, I'll go in with you. Yeah, you're coming in. Yeah, and if you're done translating, then let's go inside. I don't want you sitting out here with this creepy little bear guy. You guys are so mean to that little Malachi is. <laughs> Malachi is gonna say, "I will." <laughs> Guard Wait, the door. I have to... Turn off the morph. I, I, I will stay out here by myself. Okay, Malik, I will. You can go to... inside. Try to get the little bear to become our friend because I really love him and he's so cute. <clears throat> I already miss Jojo. Yes. Okay. Well, Very good. You guys just do your thing. Stay in the light, brother. Yeah. Yes, I hope I don't miss out on anything too important or awesome or cool, you know? Yeah. But, uh, alright, see you guys later. Bye. Alright, let's go, Shiv. Or Vex, just tread carefully and don't touch anything. Just Did you go through the door yet? Did you yeah. go through the next door? Oh, yeah. Can I? Okay, I, didn't, I don't want to move into somewhere that, like, it's going to be bad. Okay, I move there. Yes, you can. Well, I was trying to tell you guys. I don't know. I was just Sorry. drawn to the door. Yeah. Um. The when you go through the door, which is unlocked, or maybe you know what? I don't even see the need to have a door there. Let's just have it be an archway. <laughs> they don't even mention the door in the book. They just put a door there for the fuck of it. Mm -hmm. Um. The, a glorious sun is carved on the ceiling, directly above a pool of still water. The ceiling reflected in the pool doesn't show a sun carving, but rather a moon carving. Wow, this is like, you know, like the sun powering the moon and the moon powering the ocean, something like that. I think that's very beautiful. Um, um, can I taste the water? Is it water? Um, you want to immerse your hand in the pool of still water? Yes. I, I just want to take, get like a little bit to taste. It does. Yeah, sure. Tastes refreshing. It's, it's fresh water. Right? It's not like moldy yes. or <clears throat> mildewy. It's like, wow, that's pretty impressive. No, it... it's like... Sure. Yeah. Um, well, you know what, Terme, I feel like you would you would probably recognize blessed water. Like right? Yeah, You're like, probably, oh yeah. this is whatever. Blessings. <laughs> Anybody can do that. Mm -hmm. It's called conjure holy water. This is holy water. This is, you know, pretty. We need to respect this holy water. I think Malachi is really missing out because look at the sun. He's obsessed with it. Uh, and Shiv is like nonchalantly walk by this thing uh, and then sees this opening there. What is that? Can he go in there? Yeah, what is no, this? No, I don't know triangle? why it shows okay. that. The, okay. That alcove. Don't pay attention to it. Don't exist. Whatever, you know. Okay. You could imagine that there's a background. Uh, so we have a light source on, right? Mm-hmm, sure. Can I move around the pool looking to see if there's anything happening with the light source and the pool? Look around the pool? Mm-hmm. Um... I don't understand your question. Like, I want to walk around, like, the pool to see if, like, moving the light source, we see any differences in the reflection from the pool or, like, the walls. When you see light reflecting off the water. Yeah, to see if there's any, like, is, there's something about the light, like, be, like, be under the light, so I would wonder. When you, I... when you lean over the pool, mm -hmm. um, you see yourself. In the pool, but 
the only difference is that the sun on the ceiling is a moon. Okay, I thought you. S I understand because I thought the moon was underneath the water, but it seems like it's showing the reflection. That's oh. correct. Interesting, interesting. And nothing on the walls? In this room? Just this, this inside here? Nothing right? of note, yes. Okay. Okay. Maybe we should turn off all the lights and see what happens to the water and but our the reflection. Ubalaka Does everybody you see to that? Stay in the light. Okay. Does anybody else see anything in the water? Like when you look, do you see anything differently? I'll lean everybody over see? and look. Do I see the same thing? Yeah. Why not? You see a glorious golden face looking back at you. Okay, I can we tell how deep the pool is? Um, or is it just so perfectly still we only see our reflection in it? Yeah, you don't see the bottom. You only see the reflection. I kind of want to jump in the pool, guys. Do it. We still have breathe underwater. Maybe you should tread lightly into the water. Okay. <laughs> Not jump in. I will slowly go into the water, saying a prayer. I'm like, um, with respect to this temple, I would like to enter the holy water. So you're, you're, you lower yourself into the pool. Yeah. And you're swimming. Okay. All the, like, how far? How deep is it? Well, it depends. You have to describe um, what you're doing. Are you trying to reach the bottom? Sure. Uh, I mean, I'll put my like legs on there first. If it goes deeper, I will like push off and like jump in, or like slowly lower myself in using my mm -hmm. very strong arms to slowly go in to that I don't have. So it's like looks like Ugh, like I'm shaking while I try to slowly go in the water. Do I go mm -hmm. in all the way? Yeah. So you're still clutching to the side of the pool? Is that what you're yeah, saying? Yeah. I mean, if I don't, if there's not enough, I, like, let go, and I'll slowly start swimming down. Can I see the pool? I mean, okay. it's, like, very small. Well, here, here's what happens from Fritz's perspective. Okay. <laughs> He's watching you go in the pool. And dwarves aren't very good at swimming, especially the ones who wear heavy armor. And so you let go of the side of the armor. pool, yeah. and you're treading, you're treading water, mm -hmm. and your head briefly goes under, mm -hmm. and then she stays under the water. Okay. Can I look in? Is she drowning? <laughs> Well, Terme, mm -hmm. you're, you, your head comes above the water again, because you're treading water, you know, I, up and we down. Have, we have underwater breeding. Well, okay. that's, but I'll come up again. Don't worry, cool. don't yeah. worry, okay. don't worry about that. Okay. Um, you... <laughs> When you when your head comes back above the water, mm -hmm. you see that the moon is above your head. You like shake the water out of oh. your hair, and you look up and you see the moon on the ceiling. Uh -huh. And actually, and it's it's dark in here, so you're seeing this with your dark vision. And I... so you continue treading water. Can I go I outside just... the pool as I see it's dark outside and I'm alone? Well, at this point, I'm um, just for the for the hell of it. 
um, like because it's difficult for you to tread water, right? Um, I'm just trying to be flavorful. After a few moments, your head goes under again, and you come back in the sun room again, and the room is well lit. Oh, guys, come in! I think it's really fun, and I put it go down again. It's like a portal or something, like a passageway. Okay, I I'll mean, get I, in. I, I just like I left. <laughs> I go. I jump Can in. Somebody get me out. <laughs> it's over here. This is not a good. Well, with a map, it kind of... So you're in another room now. Mm -hmm. You guys relight the torch. And you, uh, uh, you, you see a door. Let me read you this room. A full moon is carved on the ceiling here, directly above the pool. The walls are decorated with reliefs of the Omuan people carrying out daily chores. Wait, in here? Okay. Um, well, door. let's go. Yeah, this door. Can I go <laughs> forward? Is that okay? I just don't want to go somewhere I'm not supposed to go. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, uh, there are the uh, torches. Yeah. Okay. So, um, Shiv, do we see the thing right here? Oh, uh, you went in the room, huh? You said, yeah, can we? I, that's why I was guys. asking, can I go forward? Sure. Um, okay, eight torches illuminate this room. The light washes over a floor mosaic showing two creatures locked in combat. Mm. A small bear with sharp claws and a rabbit with a spiral horn on its forehead. Mm. In the middle of the room, a robed figure stands next to a waist-high pedestal, <gasps> atop which rests a stone cube figure is bald and has one hand on the cube. It takes a moment to realize that the figure is a statue. Oh. A statue? Like... Wait. Okay. Okay. Does the statue look like it's a real... Yeah. ...person that's turned into a statue? I don't know why we keep asking this question, but... No, no, I feel like you're we'll onto something. just use that as a stand-in for the... Okay. Statue. Um, so the way. Tell... Sorry. Yeah, I was yeah, yeah go say, for it. So the way it. the guy's hand is on the cube, was it as though he was reaching for it, or is he kind of like, this? This is my cute little cube. Like, is it like a pat, or is was he trying to grab the cube? Can I tell? Was he trying to grab the cube? Yeah. Um. The petrified looking figure uh, is trying to grab the cube. Okay. Yeah. So he, me. I think you're right. looking. he has one hand on the cube. It's touching the cube. Right, right. But not like. You know, you can like touch something and be like, look at this cube here. It's so beautiful. Or the answer is yes. It looks like he's trying to take it. Okay, okay. So yeah, I think there to me, I agree with you. I think touching the cube will turn you into stone. Okay. Are we sure touching it will? Oh, I don't, maybe not. Maybe he touched Oh it my one. god. What? I recognize that guy. Is he one Who of the he? red wizards? Yes, he's Vodge. Vodge? Yes. He... Sure? Why, why did you sound so incredulous when I said that? I don't know, I wanted to just pretend that I knew <laughs> him. <laughs> I like how he's well, like a little late yes. to the party. <laughs> okay. Well, he looks like he's stoned. Um, did he, oh, maybe he has the other, okay, okay, so the cube is still here. You know, well, I think we need, okay. I think Oh, the... by the way, yes. screw that guy, you know what, I never liked him. Really, he was rude. <laughs> he, he, he was a rude person, he, 
He was always making me do stuff for him. Yeah. He looks Any rude. other things here? Like, other than what you describe, if we take a look around? So there's eight torches, and two animals like the rabbit and the little bear fighting, right? Yes. I think Be we very... Need... Is there any more writing? Uh, no, there's no more writing. I think we need to move these torches to um, the other hallway, but I don't know how we can get it through the water. Um, well, I like that. I like that. Move them under the water. Well, we can just turn, like, light them when we get there. I know, but what if it's, like, magic? Then if it's magic, maybe it won't even turn off when we go under the water. We can try that. I like that. Let's go. Let's take one. But this room would be fully dark. Okay. First, um, can I look around this room? I don't mean to be a terrible person, uh, but I'm seeing some semblance of symmetry in this temple. I would like to see if I can find a door or a loose stone that can slide. Um, if there is a secret passage or something. Are you guys just reading the... the are you reading ahead? Because I don't... Wait, why? No, I'm not. I mean, I just guessed, like, I just wanted to go in there because I, like, thought it would be really shallow and, like, I don't know. That was just random. I didn't no, know what I, was. I, just, I just said I that. don't know, I just felt like you I guys said, assuming that the torches the won't go Very through good, the water. Last week? What? Yeah, I just found it surprising that you guys just completely skipped past the step <laughs> where you try putting a torch in the fire, in uh, mm -hmm. water. The, no, Terme just torch. said he wanted to do. Sh Terme just said she wanted to do that. Oh, I want to do yeah. that. But yeah. I think it, it, it goes out. It goes out. Okay. It I'll goes it out. Back okay. out. I'll pull it back out and cast fire on it and put it back where it was. When she pulls it back out and casts fire on it, on it, does it stay lit? Um. No. Oh shit. What if okay, I'll go to one of the torches and try to make it catch fire from one of the torches then. Um yeah, when you when you go back into this room, um you're able to relight the torch. Mm. Okay, okay, that does not work. Um that's the only wait, reason. Wait, 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 wait. Say that again, you're able to relight it? In this room, it's yes. A magic, it's a magic oh, yeah. torch, which yeah, yeah. You, she cannot relight it. She has to go into the, into room, the room, and she was able to light it off of one of the existing flames. Got here. it, got it. Um, yeah, and that's the only reason I assumed um, there would be a passage or something, because I feel like, and maybe you think this is a crazy leap, that seems weird to make, but I just feel like we need to move these torches into the eight empty torch brackets in the outside hallway. Um, I think that makes sense, but I also like your symmetry idea because I think temples should be designed with beauty and symmetry in mind. Yes. So I think you're right. There might be something there. I really like that. I think that's beautiful and we make beautiful things. Wow, Terme. You're so sweet. Okay, make your roll for. I'll give you. Uh, well, how about this? Uh, do you do you have stone bending? I do, but it's a fourth level spell, oh, so you know okay. we don't need to use it. I mean, if we we can use it if we need to, but like you know, let's make sure we no, need no, to yeah, before yeah, yeah. we do it. I was just thinking um, we could just make a little. Actually, here. you're. Right. You know what? I since I, we're talking about stone this much, I want to use my stone cunning and like really study this like stone masonry and built i assume like we don't know uh. where we came out right we just know we came out another room for all we know that's in a great dimension. point um i don't have uh, this bird's eye view so you're totally right i don't think i should look for a passage because it doesn't make sense for me to um you're right okay but I so 
but I want to see if, we, um, if this is stone is made out of the same uh, like if it's if it feels like you're we're in, in the same place. You're in the chamber of sacraments. Is Where that, is that? In that. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> the, <laughs> the middle, the middle yeah. room. Yeah, exactly. The middle room is the chamber of torches, is what I said. <laughs> um, the torch chamber, and uh, so let's see: small bear and a rabbit are battling. Robed figure. And this, so as you're traversing through these halls, your guys are taking some time to look at the walls. <laughs> and uh, this, this, um, these chambers tell a story of the um, Omoan people. Um, they're telling a story of, you know, how their civilization operated. Um, it's a origin story at first of them, um, you know, hunting and gathering and becoming, uh, un unified people. Um, it's very much, um, uh, it's not a glorious story. It's very much like being at a natural history museum. Um, you're seeing their way they made tools and um, the kind of food they were eating. And as you're proceeding into the, you know, the further you get, right, that's cause, because these were the murals in the beginning mm -hmm. as well that you saw. There were reliefs, technically. Um, the the further you get along, um, the the more you you see that um, it's becoming more complex. You know, um, you're now seeing buildings and pyramids mm -hmm. and things like that. And what did you get? You guys still haven't rolled. Yes, I was gonna ask if I could look at like the stone work of it and understand like I don't know what it is. Um, I also wanted to um, uh, I, I wanted to see if we are in the same place, like how far we've tr because like to me, like we might have transported like to another dimension, right? like we don't know. Uh, so I wanted to see, first of all, are we the same? And then I want to test um, if sound travels. I don't know. I assume I'm a dwarf. So, like, I don't know how, like, we... But I want to do this thing. I don't know. You can tell me if this is, like, weird. But I want to, like, essentially ask Marzipan to um, put her, like, go to the other room. And um, I'm going to, like, tap in different locations in the room to okay. see if we can hear it like if she can hear vibrations on the walls so we can map kind of where we are if we're in the same you place want her to go through the pool yeah he, she wants me to go out uh, yeah so okay, at first yes, of all do it in this that. one to okay, see if we can map good. it it's and fine. then yes. go to the other one yes, and i'm yes. gonna go tap and okay, see if we can tapping. Yeah, I'll start tapping. Like you I don't can know. skip past this. Yes, you can yes, see so the map now. Okay. So okay, yes. Um, and I'm like, well, okay. So Marzipan, yes, I could. I believe if we want to, I could make a wall disappear in between those two. But I don't know if that will like destroy the magic of this room. Probably not. Mm. Um. But yes, I could do that if we want to. Um. I don't think there is any passages out of here. Um, but yeah, so that's what I found. Okay, now we know what it looks like. Okay. I, the story of the people, though, it's about their evolution, their growth. Yeah, so maybe beautiful. this bear, it's about um, civilization and technology and science. It's kind of like, well... Well, Mistra is more about magic and magic providing those things, but I really like, you know, really 
feel it's this a, guy. It's resonating with you. It's it is resonating with me. That's very so, nice. So I don't think we should touch this. Okay. Um. So we could do that, or what else do you want to try for us to do? I. Fritz, what do you think? Um. I. Um. Uh, I'm curious when the she went to relight the torch. Did it just like relight when it entered the room, or did she have to actually touch it to the other torch? It, um, she had to touch it to another torch. Okay. Oh, well, that ruined my idea. Uh, you said there were eight sconces outside. I didn't catch that detail. Yeah, uh, underneath each really... of the reliefs out there, there are eight empty torch holders. I, th I mean, so if my idea was we could like create a daisy chain and always keep each torch within the light of the other torch. Um, but I don't know how we get it through the water. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I was thinking if they just stayed within each other's like cone of light, they might keep each one well, lit. Oh, maybe I can I'll, um, miss these. I'll up. tell you this. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you this. There's. I only said whether the torches, how the torches are lit once they're in this room is inconsequential. You can you can put it out and relight it yourself. In the room. But you understand what I'm saying? You don't have to. You, she, uh, for the flavor of it, the the. But I'm telling you, it doesn't matter how it's relit. It could, for effect, be brought into this room and it would relight itself. Like it doesn't matter. I just thought you had to light it using something else. It was uh, just in my own head. That's, it. yeah. Um, wait, wait, so like if we leave through the water, come back, and I try to light it here, can I? Yeah. Like with fire? Uh, no, no, outside it didn't work. No. Yeah, when you were in the room... We can only light the, the torches in this, in this room. room. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so let's see... I mean, Marzipan, I like your idea about looking for other passageways. I don't think it's a bad idea. We can look for it. I mean, I'll help you look for it. I don't know if we are allowed to look for it, but I think we can look for it. Um, another possibility is... Uh, oh, I thought I had Misty Step. Uh, no, Fritz has I, it. I have it. Can you, when you Misty but Step, we... can you bring something with you? I think so. Yeah. Uh... So you could go with one torch, Misty well, Step... No, he go with all of the torches no because oh it's the room not the torch you're right Fuck. yeah yeah okay that doesn't work okay um, he can hold eight torches <laughs> he's tiny boy he can do it we believe in him he has a lot of pockets um you it, can tell 30 feet to you can see you can do, use me to step to do that it would have to be dimension door um, which I have. Right, but it's a high level spell. Yeah. We can yep. take two of us. Okay, fine, fine. Let's see. Two of us can fold toward fort. Okay, so we have to. I also ideas. have the cloak. We have the cloak. Cloak. You have the cloak. So you can just use the cloak. And that has three charges, really doesn't it? No, it has one. Oh, fuck. It's really good stuff. Okay. So one idea is. You either use the mention door or your cloak, and we hold hands, and we hold four torches each to go. <laughs> the other idea is I use to destroy a wall, which, I mean, guys, this is a beautiful temple. Yeah, I don't feel like we, we should shouldn't destroy be it. destroying walls. Yeah, I mean, I could probably use another spell slot to put it back, but that seems <laughs> impressive. Um, <laughs> um, and then lastly... Uh, yeah, let's look around to see if he missed anything. How about There's that? There's nothing interesting about this dais, or however you say it. Dais. Dais, yeah. Um, that's where the floor mosaic is, of the oh, bear and the okay. Oh, okay. Okay. rabbit. So it's, it's like a rug, is what that's signaling. Or, not a rug, but... Yeah. Like, it's not really like a frame. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, but it's like in the floor, right? Yeah, 
Don't overthink the map. I feel okay. like they just drew some generic shit, okay. you know, and then somebody else drew, thought about it later. They're like, okay, I'll draw this one. Like, it writes what itself. I just put a pool box? here and a pool there, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like, they they didn't put the detail into the floor thing. They just drew a generic altar yeah. and were like, somebody else oh. will write what <laughs> it's about. <laughs> I think it's obvious we need to get the torches out into the hall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we should um, look for some way to get yeah. out of here other than here. So let's see if we can find something. Uh, let's look in the rooms. Let's see. What if we was the find saying it. again? Tread, tread wearily, wearily and, stay in, the and light. stay in the light. Yeah. yeah. But uh, Papa, maybe we Papa... need to wait, 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 guys, guys, okay. guys, guys, guys. Let's hear. I'm not sure, but hear me out. What if when they walked in, the torches were in this, in the other room, and he brought them all the way here? No, no. But you know, just mm. think about it. If we did that, then we would be turning, like, taking them all back, and then, like, taking them. <laughs> okay, no, let's do it. Let's do it. But no, then he because... wouldn't be stoned yeah, if, if he fixed it. Yeah. <laughs> But maybe they didn't like him. Orax told us he was like an asshole. Maybe they fucked it up. Well, they didn't just like it. no. Let's use do it. Let's your do it. shield to like gingerly pick up the no. puzzle cube or something. You can't. I mean, technically speaking, I do have a greater restoration potion. So technically, yes. But let's not risk it. Let's try it. Yeah, let's go look to see if there's any ways. But just saying, you know, it's possible. It's possible, Veer. Double solving the mystery. Like, it's been solved once, and we're solving it again. But, you know, I, maybe maybe I'm just too going, to, you know, too... I, I've been reading, or... You know, you don't know this about me, but I used to read a lot of... Um, what do you call... Um, conspiracy theories? So... I mean, I see it, what you're saying. This guy's here. What if he did all the work to bring the torches in? But I feel like this room... I don't know. I feel like... Yeah, let's look around this room. I agree. Let's. This room is sketchy. Let's look at this room. Okay. What do, we, what do you want to look for here? You know what? Oh. I'm going to keep doing my tapping thing to see if... Can I tell if we tap, like... Uh, I don't know. Like, this is a false wall or something. I'm going to mm. do, like, click, 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 click. Where are you tapping? Why don't you guys Look. try teleporting? Because we only have one teleport. We want to see if there's any like way to get out of here first. I mean, we've got we've got the cloak, and then I have two fourth level slots prepared. Like I can. Well, you can take one person with you, so I think we can just like take four torches in our arms really awkwardly. Okay, let's do it. We're not looking for like the trap doors then. I don't know. <laughs> Trap doors. Secret well, why not? Secret packages. Yeah. I really want to find a secret passage, but I guess we can't. Well, here, uh, indicate you can where. Roll yeah, indicate where you're looking, and then roll. I'm gonna tap all around this room. Should be pretty obvious. What? <laughs> yeah, that's what I was talking about. The symmetry of the the temple. Yeah, but... uh, <laughs> that's why I was asking if I like yeah, tap around the room nice. to like map out the location <laughs> if we can find like a. I mean. I There's did a door that. Right here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You just and see where the black the here. black spots are. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well. Um, what do we roll? Perception or investigation? Yes. I mean, it makes sense, like, the, the pools mirror each other and... Whatever, uh, doesn't matter. Um, we rolled a 16, so... Um, you squint your eyes at this particular section, and in this part of the... <laughs> this is gonna sound funny. In this part of the... Uh, I'm gonna write this down, I wanna draw it later. Um... The, in this part of the ma whatever, maze, the maze, there's the fucking wall. Mm -hmm. Um, he, there's a image of a guy, he's, uh, he's got a door, 
<laughs> behind him. <laughs> and he's got a tiny little hammer and uh, and a chisel, and he's and he's making a key. Wait, can you say that one more time? There's a... There's a man crafting a key with a door behind him. Okay. Can I That's like what's door? on the wall. Yeah. Okay. That's correct. Wait, that's on the wall that we think we push, like we think is a door? What happens right? if I like that is correct? To that open is correct. The image of that door. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Nope. I go with my hammer and I like chisel, like kind of hit it with the door. <laughs> nope. Is the key movable? When you touch the key, the door swings open. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Cute. <laughs> so. Um, you can proceed Shiv, do you down look through for, that wall. For traps, Shiv. Okay. Oops. I will look Oops. for traps. I forgot I was doing the voice. <laughs> um, so, is that even a good voice? I don't know. Hey, everybody. I'm <laughs> For okay. A character or just yeah, for you? For a character. <laughs> <laughs> no. Why don't you guys tell me when I'm doing it? Somebody doing just it. write what it in the chat. Uh, write it. Uh, well, now I'm I've... entertaining. Me too. I thought you were doing it on purpose. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you guys can just remind me periodically okay. if you feel like it when you I forget like a, about it. You need an on air. Uh, just a. Like... Yeah. <laughs> Just like say it in the chat or something though. Okay. Don't don't like interrupt. Um, the so okay so all right. Let's speed this along. Right. It's just a corridor. Um, the corridor leads to another secret door, but it's the back side of a secret door. Um, on the other, see they put it here. They put the cobwebs there with like sight stuff to mess with you. Um, but it's just a waste of time. On the side of this door, there's three bars, uh, three metal bars across the back, and you have to you can slide them open. Uh, and Malachi turns around. He says, Is Malachi oh. here? He's in the front. He, he's on the other side of the of the secret door, and he says, "Oh, look, it's you guys." Oh, wait, How are you doing? Pictures. How's it going, sister? It's going great. Malachi, did you make friends with the little Zorbo yet? Oh, the Zorbos are all dead. What? You killed them? Yes. Yes, when, uh, when you guys left, they started to encroach on me. And they didn't look very... Um, um, they looked quite hostile. Oh, they were waiting for somebody to be lonely? They were just trying to take advantage of you? Are... Yes, they waited for me to be alone by myself. And they came and they... Well, you know, I kind of had to read between the lines a little bit. Right. You know, I was... I, I saw them uh, looking at me weird. You know, Fritz would get it. Yeah. He... he, he Fritz, you you can you understand the gestures, right? I was getting gestures from him, and I was like, "You're making me uncomfortable, dude. Keep your distance." <laughs> but then more of his his friends came, and mm. that's when I had uh, to start shooting them. Yeah, yeah. You probably saved our lives. <laughs> You're welcome. They were easy to kill. They are beneath. They to they're beneath they be you guys. Friends. Maybe I don't know be because and cuddle you. the fact that they like, all came when he when we went inside and he was on his own it seems so very uh, predatory, you know. You know me, Terme. I would never instigate anything. <laughs> uh, I mean, you're not your sister. That's this is true. <laughs> okay, let's move. 
You can help us move some of these. Actually, we can each carry two torches. We don't even need Malachi. Okay, let's carry two torches. Okay. Chuk, chuk, chuk. Oh. Wait, what's with the torches? That no, sounds stay interesting. Here, stay here. I you want can... to help carry a torch. Okay, come on. Come. Yeah. <laughs> so you can carry a torch. Come on. So we need... Yeah. Right. Oh, so much fun. <laughs> Watch. Make and sure, yeah. I really Make missed sure. out. Oh my god, this room has a pool. Oh, and yeah, there is a sun. Yeah, it's a portal. Why didn't you guys oh, tell me there was a the sun moon. portal? Don't have a visit, have a visit to the moon. You have to go to the moon, the moon room. If you no, I'm like now look inside. <laughs> now go inside. It's a portal. What happens if I die? I'm going to try to dive in head first and okay, see what happens. Okay, do it, do it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you would. Would you just shoot out? I guess. Yeah, I That's think how so. I would. Yeah. What? Um, okay. Well. Um, All right. Let's each stand in between two, and each put the torches in their brackets no. at the same time. No, 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 no. Because that would mean Orvax is gonna be in the room by himself. We need to put some of them back, and then, um, or maybe we have one person in there. So like. Oh. Do you know what I'm I saying? I thought we would just all go back in. Okay, I'll stay in the room. Are you sure? Yeah, Fritz, can you cast light on my rapier? Of course. There's, Thank you. There's no need. I don't know. I don't understand about that. Oh, you want to stay here. in the room and take the cube? Exactly, yeah. Okay, sure. Okay. So the eight torches are placed in the wall, and then... I'll um I'll use like my skirt though. I'm still afraid. I think we solved the puzzle, but I don't want to be petrified. So I'll um, I'll wrap it in my cape. Or okay. Something. Yeah. That's fair. If you think you can counter, you know, I mean, the spirit it's just like of a tiny little... the temple with your stupid cape. Well, with then, my stupid yeah, cape sure. and the torch puzzle, I think. <laughs> just saying. It was mostly the torch puzzle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just a little flavor. We didn't top. need to do the torch puzzle. We just needed your skirts. Yeah, exactly. But, like, <laughs> you never know. Uh, the fellow is still petrified. Uh -huh. um, um, no one's in here with me, right? I I would feel guilty if I didn't say we should. Um, unpetrify Vodge. Wow, that is so funny, dude. I'm glad you're the only one here because let me tell you what I was thinking. Uh, I was gonna push him over. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it, we're not there. Like, and see we're if the back. statue just crumbles, you know? Yeah. That's what I was gonna uh, yeah, well, I'm not going to stop you. I'm looking the other way. Well, he probably killed Jojo's dad or whatever. Okay. Jojo's father was alive. Over. We talked to him. I tip do him it. Over. Do it. I tip him over. Do it. I won't say anything. I'll say it happened when the torches went in. Perfect. Okay. I do it. <laughs> wow, that was such a guilty There's pleasure. I really no, love no, killing no, my no, former no, comrades. No. Okay, yes, cool. it's the greatest that. feeling in the world. Good, good. Uh, does it shatter? Does it break? Or can you even yeah. push it over because nice. it's stone? <laughs> Loser. Wow. Uh, he right. had the other stone on him and we can never recover it now. Oh my god, I hope not. <laughs> uh, okay, um, so yeah, I'll grab it and then I will walk out. Or, sorry, does something happen when they put all the torches in the other place i think i interrupted you no no it's uh well i don't know maybe there's like a whoosh okay. you know whatever cool. uh but you you are able to pick up the cube nothing fucking earth doesn't tremble or anything okay cool so uh yeah and uh okay. Okay. now the statue has been toppled and shattered and uh because you, you know you, what if you can walk what if out when um we go out of the temple he gets on you know what if it wears off and then he comes and kills us or something you know so oh my so what? nothing you, you, i was considering using my one potion 
to bring him back, but I guess bring who back? What are you decision. talking about? Nothing happened in there. There's nothing. Nothing happened in okay, there. Okay, we don't realize. Okay, you no. just walk out. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you're just saying that to yourself. Okay, yeah, I thought exactly. you said that to us. No, 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 no. No, that you don't even have to feel good. This is as they're still walking through the tab web corridor. Mm -hmm. It's like don't even feel guilty about it. It, it was awesome. There's, you don't have to justify it. You know what? I feel like we really bonded here. Okay. As they so walk shady. back, I'm gonna be like, do you think I should try to bring the guy back? <laughs> no, when you guys put the torches into the thing and the room went dark, when I grabbed the cube, he was gone. Oh. It, it was like trembling. The earth trembled when oh. you guys plugged in the torches. That was really cool. Oh, oh okay. Well, um, yeah, okay. I guess we can keep it for ourselves then. Yeah. Um, Alright, okay. we got another one, you guys. Oh, yeah, team. Uh, just the team. <laughs> <laughs> we, we were gonna make a flag on this oh, yellow yeah. thing we found, but we really, you know, it got we got attacked by T Rex. Yeah. So I, uh, yeah, it was, it was yeah. Um, Alright, what does it look like? Can we see the puzzle cube? Is there a cute little corvo I suppose... On it? I suppose you could... Corva. If only I knew where to look and everything wasn't expanded. <laughs> for some reason. Yeah, I kinda wanna ask... I kinda wanted to ask that with the Red Wizards where the rest of their people went. Maybe who could have told us, like, oh. you know, where they're hiding and those things. But it's okay, I really didn't wanna use my one potion on him and... Uh, I don't know smart. when we're gonna level up to have that spell, so you know. Oh my god, that is oh, so cute! It's really cute! It looks like a koala! It does. I love him. I wish they didn't attack. Worst case scenario, we can use these to make cookies. Yes, absolutely. I love that. Um, Alright. Good job, you guys. Well, that was pretty good timing. Yeah, actually. 10.30. Perfect. We did... You know, I feel a lot better after this temple. Um, because, like, the one before this, we really, like, you know, struggled. So that this one, was one so I was dumb. like... Ugh. That yeah. one was so dumb. And this one, I mean, I think we... Yeah. I honestly was just wanted to know, like, how deep it went. I didn't realize I would go through to the other side. That was really fun. I yeah. mean, there was something cool about how the roof, like, you could see that the roof was mm -hmm. different in was the reflection. Different, yeah. yeah, so. It was a cool thought. I mean, you also just drink it straight up. <laughs> I did. Mm. I did, so, you know. It was, uh... Now you, now, now you have the sun in you, Terme. Yeah. You are now aligned with the sun god. Ooh, we welcome you. We welcome you into our religion. I'm glad you have decided to um, accept the light into your heart. I'm going to go drink some sun water now too, actually. <laughs> okay. I'm going to drink some moon water. Of course you would, sister. I mean, I have a sun tattoo already, so... You weren't really? Was Where? What? You I'm gave it to us, you little silly boy. I've never seen it. Oh, that one. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh, no, I don't remember that. I was a, a different person back then. Oh. Well, yeah, look, you did this for me. Oh, well, that's a really good tattoo. Isn't I'm pretty nice? good. Yeah, it's really Isn't pretty it a tattoo? Good. I thought it was like just like an ink. No, no. I think they said either tattoo or brand. Uh, but either way, <laughs> that shit's permanent. Maybe I branded you with a hot ink. So it's both. <laughs> <laughs> Can you press to just the page in this away, Fritz? <laughs> Oh my god, Terme! You didn't know you had forehead. that, Terme? 
Oh, it is on our wrist. No, I put them on your arms. Good, I yeah, put them I thought on it was your on wrist or something. Okay, okay, that's yeah. fine. That's yeah. fine. I thought it was on our forehead, and I was like, we're hey. just like walking around with the <laughs> fucking suns on our forehead. <laughs> I really thought so. You know, it reminded me of Game of Thrones, like the yeah. I don't remember what they're called, but the those doofuses that like cut the sun yeah. on their heads. Yeah. Oh, the red. arrows or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Well, I'm really glad you guys decided.